Tech helpers are really fun. And there's an example, like as you saw all through the applica application I was showing off earlier, all these things are different tag helpers. So these are HTML tags that are have some special sort of processing. And Damian Edwards, PM on the .NET team and a bunch of other stuff, uh, he set up some stuff with tag helpers with some uh, tag helper pack is what he calls it. So these are custom tag helpers. And so here's an example of an ASP if. And this is a very simple one where he just sets a predicate and um, if it's if it's true, do one thing. If not, do another. Here's his example page, and this has things like um, these are all these tag helpers that do things like render, you know, um, select input elements and stuff like that. The cool thing with this is these are very simple. Like he's just binding to. He says editor four equals birth date, and it automatically shows a calendar picker. So he's got all these custom ones. What's neat with this is you can actually see the source code for it. So I'm going to do one of my favorite tricks of late, which is I'm on a GitHub repo, and I'm going to hit the dot key. Isn't that so cool? It brings up an editor. It better do it for me now, or I'm going to feel stupid. Come on now. I'm not supposed to do this. All right, yeah. fine. It's good that I have it loaded. I did it with another one earlier. So here's, here's the example code. Always have a backup, John. So here's this this example, right? So he has this if. So if he puts this ASP if attribute anywhere and he puts this predicate, so I'll say predicate equals blah, 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 then it just does a quick choice. Does it exist or not? So that's a very, very simple one. He's got another, like a more complex one. This does markdown. So you can put markdown in a page and inside this markdown tag and it'll automatically render it as HTML. So there's really two tricks in this. One is to use custom HTML helpers or tag helpers, and the other is to write your own. And it's really relatively easy to do that. I will give an example of one that we use inside the .NET website. So that, that page that I showed before it was a list of all these different events um, in the community. And I wanted to make it so that you could see a list of them. So let me flip back to flip back to one of my 40 tabs. So here's the list. So I want to be able to hover over it and see the event info. And what was important with that, it was it needed to be accessible. I did it one way before and it was pretty neat. And then they're like, failed accessibility tests. You know, this is, this is not inclusive. And I felt really bad. And so then I was like, okay, what can I do? Well, it turns out Bootstrap has a thing for that. Um, but what was even neater is somebody had already built one. So there's a tag helper that turns on the bootstrap, um, that little info thing. So I was like, this is awesome. And so I went over and checked out. So here is this info tag helper. So this is, we use this anywhere in the, in the .NET website, you see that little I tag, this is actually what's happening. So all we have to do is fill in this title and it's automatically going to write this out. I don't have to worry about writing this in each page and accidentally forgetting to set an ARIA attribute or whatever. This is automatically going to, to pass, you know, it's going to include the right code there. So I can just go through and bind this. So here, this is a tag helper. I'm saying title equals blah, blah, blah. And then I close it off. So I think this is a great example of Razor. Um, tiny little bit of code and it's able to kind of be reusable throughout the site.